This is an Evergreen Media Network production. And now it's time to put you on the spot with EGM. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of On the Spot with EGM. I am your host, William Tiller, and today is a very special episode. Every episode that we get to spend talking about veterans is special to me. And in today's episode, we have the Wounded Waters Fishing Tournament coming up here in 2024. And to talk about the Wounded Waters Fishing Tournament, we have some special guests joining me here today. We have Kevin and Matt. And Kevin, uh, you are the founder and president of Wounded Waters. Uh, when was Wounded Waters? is founded and what is your mission with this fishing tournament so it was officially founded in 2019 um, we started doing uh, trips and stuff prior to that but when we officially filed the nonprofit and everything was 2019 um, and our mission is uh, to take a uh, Wounded veterans, uh, first responders, active military, out on fishing and diving adventures uh, to help them with PTSD and um, other stress-related incidents that happen during their time in service. And, you know, with this fishing tournament, of course, there's fundraisers all across town and th different things like that. But how does this fishing tournament exactly help your mission and help you raise those funds needed to help those veterans out there? Uh, basically, the uh, fundraisers, what this does is help offset costs for the first responders and the veterans. So it's zero out-of-pocket cost for, for them. Wow. So we can take them on their fishing trips. We can take them uh, to get a scuba diving experience and possibly even certified if they want to be. Wow, that, that's that's so cool to be able to go down and dive completely free. We all know how expensive diving can be and all the equipment that comes with that. And I was reading the flyer there. This is happening in Causeway Cove down in Fort Pierce? Yeah, or? it's Causeway Cove um, this month, the 24th and 25th. The 24th is the captain's party, um, and then the 25th is the actual tournament itself. Wow. Okay, so what's the, kind of the difference between the captain's party and the tournament, if you want to kind of briefly talk about that? So the captain's party is um, it's uh, the time to come do your registration, receive your um, captain's buckets, get any t-shirts. Uh, we're going to have uh, food that's catered there. I'm um, going to have the full bar, and we're also having um, a band playing that night. Wow. All right. Wait, what's the band for those folks out there if they want to come watch the band? Oh, good Lord. What is the band's name? <laughs> we'll find, look yeah, them up on Wounded like, Waters yeah. and, and the, the band yeah. name will be there. Now, they, so many things going on. Yeah, right. All right. It's a big is. event. It's a oh, big it's Whiskey event. Trip. That's what it is. Whiskey that, Trip. Whiskey yep. Trip. Check yep. them out, guys. And now this is a KDW tournament. For those that are unfamiliar with fishing and, and tournament sort of settings, How? what is a KD tournament and how does that tournament set up? So the KDW out? is your Kingfish, Dolphin, and Wahoo. So that's the big three for the actual tournament itself. Then we have subcategories of uh, Amberjack, Grouper, and Snapper that they can buy into with a very large Kingfish Calcutta itself. Wow. All right. And how much, because people are going to want to take their boats out. They're going to want to go out there, possibly win this tournament. It's going to be a big deal to win, especially this special of a tournament. How much does it cost to register a, a boat? And what is the deadline to get those registries in? So the deadline is all the way up to um, at the captain's party. That's when a lot of people actually come out to register just because captains and I do the same thing myself. They want to look at the weather to see how it's going to be. Um, but it's $300 now because we've already uh, passed the cutoff for the early entries. So that's $300 per boat. And then if they want to get into the additional bonus fish categories like the Amberjack Group and Snapper, they're $50 each. And, and then the Kingfish Calcutta itself is $350 by itself. And, of course, for all those folks out there that are listening to that entry fee, of course, all of these funds go right to the Wounded Waters Project, goes right out there to those uh, Wounded Warriors out there as well. So just think of your entry. Even if you don't go out there and catch all those fish, it's still going to a good cause. Now, guys, the captain's meeting is the day before on May 24th. For those guys that are registered before that date what is that going to be about and what is that going to entail the captain's meeting um, so the captain's meeting um, we'll have Matt he's our uh, MC for the entire event there we go Matt and um, but I it's basically going to be going over all the rules making sure everyone understands that we're going to be handing out like I said the buckets and stuff um, we're going to have the food the band it's just really about just getting together everyone having a good time um, and making sure just everyone understands the basically the rules of the tournament so which are pretty cut and dry they're real easy and simple to follow we didn't have any issues at all last year and uh, hopefully it's going to be a bigger and better event this year 
Now, let's talk about this tournament because when can people get their lines in the water on May 25th? So now we've got, we've done the captain's mm-hmm. meeting. We've got the boats registered. We're in the water. When can those lines officially drop in the water? So it's 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Yep. And it's, it's on the honor system. No, we can't. We don't have enough people to be able to just right. sit out there and just scrutinize everybody. So it's 6 a.m. on the honor system. Um, they can leave from any inlet that they want anywhere in the U.S. for all I care. Um, but at the end of the day, when they come back in for their weigh-in, it has to be by boat and the weigh-ins from 2 to 4 p.m. on Saturday. So 2 to 4 p.m., make sure to have those fish at the weigh-in station to win the tournament. And, guys, this is going to be so fun. And not only is there going to be an adult tournament, so to get those fish in the between 2 and 4 p.m., you also have the kids participating in a fishing tournament as well. Yep. Yep. So the uh, the kids tournament um, it was a probably one of the biggest uh, parts of our tournament last year. Um, huge success. We all had a lot of fun helping they had run a blast. it. Blast. Yep. So <laughs> the, the kids themselves they they had a, a huge blast. Um, but uh, we worked out with Causeway Cove where they let us um, use all the dock spaces that are there, and the kids can go on any of the docks. They can go fishing. All they have to do is just show up with a fishing rod. Uh, we provide all the bait, um, and we have tons of volunteers that are helping walk around, and it's open to any species so it doesn't matter wow. what the kids catch they're eligible to get onto it and every kid's going to get a prize so that's so cool so a free entry so say if the adults are participating or it, let's split it it doesn't matter male or female maybe mm-hmm. you're out on the boat maybe the other parent wants to stay behind with the kids the kids can just sign up for this tournament and fish for free essentially yeah. so yes. sign up is on saturday the morning of the kids tournament so sign up is between um, 8 and 8.30. Um, 9 o'clock is when the kids' tournament starts, and then it goes all the way till 12. And then at uh, 12 o'clock, um, I believe, is when we have it scheduled for the kids' awards. we got lots of awards for the kids. Um, a lot of people have donated different things. we got some really nice fishing rods, um, tackle bags, and other stuff like that. And we actually revamped the kids' tournament this year because it was such a huge success last year that we have two different um, groups, basically. We have a younger kids' group and then an older kids' group. So. Oh, man. Oh, I can feel I'm excited. I can feel the anticipation, the competition's building up. We're just a r- right around the corner to this big fishing tournament. And, guys, you know, two to four is the weigh-in. We're going to get those fish weighed up. We're going to find out who the winner is. Now, if I wanted to be a spectator and come out to Causeway Cove and watch those guys come in, when are the awards going to be presented, and so, what kind of awards are going to be presented as so well? So the awards are scheduled uh, roughly around 6 o'clock. It could be a little bit too more to the left or to the right, just depending on how quick um, everything works the way in itself um, but they're welcome to come out throughout, throughout the entire day uh, we're gonna have the kids running around doing their tournament we're gonna have a bunch of vendors and stuff and uh, it's gonna be a great day but six o'clock is when the awards are scheduled and we've got a ton of prizes and raffles and giveaways and stuff like that that we're gonna be doing around that time frame oh man if you want to give a little sneak peek of what kind of raffle prizes are gonna be out there let the folks know get them excited so some of the biggest ones that we got are from one of our big sponsors Taco Marine we've got a complete outrigger set which is a couple Ooh. thousand dollars worth of gear um, plus we got a couple other big things um, we've even got a uh, AR-15 custom built oh, man. So, uh, yeah so we, we've got everything from fishing gear to guns and a lot of other different things in between it's it's worth it just to sign up for those prizes right there guys and it, it, I just showed a picture on the screen here if you're watching along with us here on Facebook or YouTube or listening along with us here on the radio you do give out a hefty prize for second place I, I saw a thousand dollar check there so what are going to be the payouts do you know yet what they're going to payouts going to be for those um, places? So or? We, we have on our website a list of what the payouts are going to be if we get the 100 boats. Um, but it's too hard to say um, unless we get that number. So Because yeah. if we don't get the 100 boats and we've got to kind of percentage it down a little bit to what we actually do get. Um, but no matter what, we still pay out as much as we can possibly because it's all about having a good time, uh, making some money, and then helping our nonprofit make some money. So that way we can continue to keep operating throughout the year. Absolutely. And, and now, Matt, you're a dive coordinator. We talked about a little bit yeah. We started off this that you do a lot with the wounded warriors, you know, doing dive things. Are you going to have any kind of basically participation in this tournament of getting maybe guys from the tournament to go dive with you, or, or how is that going to? What's your relationship with the tournament? Uh, well, it's wounded waters. Wounded waters. By, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, like Kevin said, I'm the MC for the tournament, so right. I'm actually going to be on the stage most of the day. Oh, you're the uh, guy. Try, trying to hype up everyone, make sure everyone's having a good time, constantly moving make sure they're hydrating and whichever select beverage they enjoy all right right. um then also actually one of our also raffles is myself i've given up time to where i will certify 
uh, two, I believe we did two, yeah, we did two. two, yeah. uh, two people in open water scuba diving. Wow. Right? And what we do also is just build awareness about what scuba diving does mm -hmm. for our vets and first responders mm -hmm. with, uh, any dealing with PTSD and other disabilities. Mm -hmm. So it's about education. Also what we'll be doing, what I'll be doing there for the tournament. And, and we're going to have our tent set up there. That's got all the information about all our different programs and stuff like that. So there'll be tent, plenty of different opportunities for people to get uh, with us, ask all of us questions, stuff like that. Oh, that's so cool. And especially just to have that raffle prize up for grabs, mm -hmm. we're going to dive with you and learn all about that stuff. It's going to be so, you know, just lifting to be able to go down in the water and just relax as a veteran and kind of just, you know, leave all that stuff behind and go for a dive. Now, Matt, you did talk about a little bit of those adult bevies that are going to be out there and now what other kind of uh, food and drinks are going to be available to those folks that want to come out and maybe hang out and watch this tournament i believe we have a, a, a couple so, so we got vendors. a couple food trucks um that are coming we're going to have everything from uh barbecue to hamburgers um we're going to have uh, a taco truck um and then uh the beverages is going to be a full liquor bar and nice. um I think that's pretty much about it. I, I mean, beer got into it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think we're getting a beer trailer too. So I mean, hey, whatever you pretty much drink, you should be able to get it out there. All the essentials, essentially. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Then uh, last year, I believe we were also getting the axe throwing guy again. Yeah, yeah, right. we're trying to get him nailed down again. He was a huge hit last year. Just, I won. Yep. So, <laughs> Matt, 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 contest there yep. so little brag well guys we've got a few more minutes here if you guys want to sort of talk about any more about the tournament i know may 25th it's coming up we're going to do the wins from four to six or, or four to six and then the prizes of course after that the tournament's going to kick off at 6 a.m on the 25th that's officially when those lines can get into the water talked a little bit about the entry fees as well we talked about the awesome food and drinks that are going to be there the, the raffle prizes if there's anything we're missing or anything that you guys want to talk about or anything fill in the people uh, I mean, the big thing is just come on out and support us, um, support our organization, see what we're about, what we're doing. Um, go to our website at woundedwaters.org. Um, there's tons of information on there about all the different vets and stuff that we're helping, all of our different programs between our fishing trips, our diving trips, and uh, just our saltwater adventures. Um, you can donate on there. So if the fishing tournament is something you're not really interested into, but you do want to help us out, please click on the multiple donation areas on our website. Help us out because uh, donations have uh they've, they've hurt a lot this last year um the economy is hurting really bad so it's it's getting a lot harder for us to keep operating and doing as much as we want so we we are able to help as many vets as we can keep going as long as we can keep it affording it so donations are a huge thing that we need right now yeah absolutely and just to I, I met a veteran over the weekend i mentioned your organization to him and he goes oh there's a fishing tournament going on in fort pierce so he was so excited to hear about this thing and it's such an awesome thing that you guys do of course you know you have the generic fundraisers for veterans and mm -hmm. things like that but to be able to do something fun like this be outside be out in the sun everybody just the camaraderie is just going to be so fun for everybody involved yeah yeah, yeah so i mean our, our tournament we're trying to run it like a million dollar tournament we're trying to make it the staple event on the treasure coast um so come on out it's a great time i mean there's tons of prizes between the kids tournament and our main tournament itself and it's just it's a good time so even if you don't have a boat um try to talk with a bunch of other people that have boats put together a, a team and come on out and have a uh, just fish with us um if you've got if you don't have a boat but you've got kids and you want to come on out bring your kids on out as long as they're 16 and under they can join the kids tournament um and we're trying to make it open and as family friendly as we can and just have a really good time because just getting everyone together and having a good time is what it's really all about so may 25th 2024 causeway cove down there in fort pierce Make sure 6 a.m. you got those lines in the water. Make sure you're registered before that captain's meeting on the 24th. Weigh-ins from 4 to 6, prizes after that. I showed a picture from last year, $1,000 went to second. So I can only imagine if we get those 100 boats, what that payout is going to be. But, guys, thank you very much for being here today. Kevin, Matt, I appreciate you guys taking the time, and I can't wait to uh, catch some fish with you guys on the 25th. Hey, thank you for having thank us. Thank you. All right, guys, it's yep. been another edition of On the Spot with EGM. Have a great day, and don't forget to check out the Wounded Waters Fishing Tournament, May 25th, coming on up.